Angela here and I have my 12 days of Christmas project pan update. I'm not sure of the number. Um, I think it's the third one. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is the next update for my 12 days of Christmas project pan. This is run by the lovely Pantastic Ladies and it is based on the 12 days of Christmas Christmas song. You know. Trials day of Christmas when you look at me, all of that sort of stuff. So, yes, so I have my list here of products, so I'm going to run through them with you and my progress on them. So, I normally go from 1 to 12, but this month I thought I will change it up and I will go from 12 to 1. So, let's have a look. So, for 12 drummers drumming, we had the Laura Mercier Amethyst. Thick. No, the shade is amethyst, but this is an eyeshadow stick. I've had quite a bit of progress this month. My goal is to use this all up, and I don't know if you can see down there, but the black line that is where I am to now, and then the two lines it must be the third, yep, yeah, definitely the third one unless I forgot to mark my progress on one so that is that um, maybe two or three millimeters use um, I do like this in the corner um, of my eyes um, on, a, on a brown eye look so I'm definitely gonna make sure that I concentrate on this a lot more over the next month um, I've still got two months left on this because the end of the project pan is December the 25th so I've still got two months on this but I'm going to try and work on this very much over the next month because I really want the progress on this to get a lot faster otherwise I am never going to finish it so and it should really be much more uh, done by now. The next item was uh, 11 Pipers Piping and that was from my Chocolate Love palette and the colour Ganache well that was used that was um, hit pan last month so I'm not going to show you that I don't like to repeat myself the next one is 10 Lords of Leaping and for that I used my Essence Kiss the Freaky Frog uh, nail varnish I am now down to here in the um, bottle it is what I have on my fingers today um, so uh, yeah so it's a really really pretty color um, and yeah I'm down to here I think a few more uses and this should start dropping I basically I want to get to the word essence here so I think a few more uses and that will definitely be reached so looking good on that one the next one is for nine ladies dancing and it is my chocolate love palette again I had to swap out this color uh, on my last update because I kept hitting hard pan on the colour I originally chose so I have been working on this shade here which is flavour not sure if you can see but there is a slight dent in there I use this shade to set my eye base um, I swapped out the type of brush that I was using because I used to use a really really fluffy brush uh, one like this um, but what I realised was I was never going to hit pan using a really, really fluffy brush. So I started using my Spectrum brush. Um, and it's got much more dense and pointed ends to it. So it picks up far more product and actually it, it helps to set my base a lot easier. Um, without caking it too much as well so that is another issue but um, yeah definitely making progress on that one um, I'm just aiming to hit pan on it so hopefully that will happen soon 
Thank you then. The next item is Eight Maids of Milking. And for that one, I chose my Essence White Eyeliner. Um, something that I've come to realise is don't put eyeliners into project pans because they're very hard to use up. So <clears throat> I have here my sheet. So the progress here, as you can see, the red line is the last two. There was barely any from the first to the second. Well, from the intro to the first. I must have forgotten one. And then um, there's a bit more use this time. Um, I've been trying to use this as a base um, on my eyes. So, like, just colouring in my eyelid with it to try and use as a base to white out the, the eyelid um, it doesn't work it's not creamy enough and your, my eyeshadows crease when I use it so it's not good enough for that it is just it is a creamy eyeliner don't get me wrong but it's not creamy enough that you can use it as an eye base so it's not like uh, NYX uh, jumbo eye stick in milk it is an eyeliner pencil so I'm not sure how much use I'm going to get out of it I had originally wanted to use up down to here on it that's that's never going to happen I basically wanted to use the length of the lid that was my goal um, so from I've been measuring it with the lid on and then use the length of the lid so but that's never going to happen so I, don't know, I was a bit over ambitious with that one okay so the next one was seven swans are swimming and we have an empty um i love this product this is my royal jelly body lotion this smells gorgeous and i really uh, i loved it i really worked hard on this this month i was originally up to here so from there the first month well this month I I just went nuts with it I think um, I used it every time I got a shower I used it on an evening to just um, put on my arms before bed um, and actually the smell helped me to go to sleep as well I felt like I slept better when I had that beautiful smell aroma around me so yeah, really, really enjoyed using that. Um, so yeah, I have an empties. So that is one product down out of my, another product, should I say, out of my um, project pan. The next one is for Six Geese Laying. And for that, it was my Makeup Revolution, Makeup Revolution Resurrection Palette in resurrection oh no regeneration sorry it is this one and i can honestly say i have not touched this at all this month i don't know why i'm not touching this palette it's beautiful it's stunning and you know i think i can make some beautiful eye looks with this palette I just I just don't turn to it and I don't know why so I think this is again another product I'm going to try and really concentrate on using this month I am so okay so for the next one we have the five golden rings and for that it is a Rimmel eyeshadow this is in the palette golden eye and it is this orange and again I have not really touched it um, I've not really been doing any golden eye looks um, or any looks that have used gold in them I have used the grey shades around you might be able to see a couple of dips in the greys around it 
because I used this in my uh, clown, um, scary clown um, video, but I didn't use the gold. <laughs> um, yeah, because it has been in my project plan, I have been looking to this more often. But not the gold colour, just the silvers and the greys and the blacks. So, um, yes, must, must work on this for the next month. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so for four corn and birds, we have the Essence Lip Liner in Red Blush. And I can tell you, this has had quite a bit of progress on it. Um, so here's the Red Blush. We were there, then there for the last update, and now we're down here. So there is a good centimetre worth of use, maybe a little bit more than a centimetre. So I am really, really happy with this. I've been partnering this with another item in this project pan, and I really, really enjoy this, um, this lip liner. They're creamy, it's by Essence. Um, in the shade Red Blush, didn't know if I'd mentioned that already. It's really creamy, really soft, and you could actually use Essence lip liners as a colour on their own. You don't need to use a lipstick over the top of them. They're so pigmented and so creamy, you could just use this on its own to fill in your lips. And yeah, I really, really enjoyed using that. So some good progress there. Uh, for three French hens, this is the project that I have been um, partnering with the lip liner, and that is my lip lingerie by NYX in the shade French Made. And I don't know if you can see, but there is some light coming through there. Can you see here? I have been using this quite a lot this month. Um, I really made an effort to use this and I I put this in the project because I haven't touched these since I got them and the reason being is I don't like the applicator. But after using it so frequently and I'm talking about four days a week probably every time I've done a lip um, it's normally been this or um, a lipstick that's in my heavy metals project pan um, I've just been using that applicator rather than using a this is a, a disposable dofra applicator um, I've actually just been using the applicator in here and I've come to be okay with it um, so that's a good thing because that was the reason why I wasn't using it previously um, and I really like the formula it dries down um, as long as you put a lip balm on about 20 minutes or so before you apply this it won't dry your lips out too much um, but you do have to be careful if you do struggle with dry lips so yeah really enjoyed using that and there's some definite progress in there because I can see daylight through it okay so the next one I have been uh, treating myself this month shall we say to two face masks so these were for two turtle doves and I picked them because they're heaven seventh heaven products so we had the Manuka honey peel off um, I apply these with a silly gel blender. You know the the silicon blenders that was a big phase. We got one in our glossy box last month. I apply them using that, and I do that because the silly gel blender is great for not soaking up any product, and it's really great for just smoothing it all over your skin. And I got a real nice even application all over my face and yeah it was really 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 nice the Manuka honey one was really good once it dried I was able to peel it off there were some bits that hadn't dried properly even though I'd left it the amount of time 
Um, so because they hadn't peeled off properly, they began to like, like ball up and peel on my face and I got into an awful sticky mess. Um, that could have been, maybe I'd applied some parts thicker, but then I didn't. So I don't know. I think with this one, I would probably, I should have maybe left it a lot longer than I actually did. Um, but my skin afterwards felt absolutely amazing, really nice and soft. And then this one is the Blemish Mud one. And this one has a really strong aloe vera scent to it. So it was kind of uh, menthol as I was applying to it. And because of my asthma, that caught in the back of my throat. But I persevered with it. And the, the scent did start to lessen the longer that I wore it. This did harden um, very evenly. There was no um, wet patches left after the allotted time. And it washed off. This one is a wash off. It's not a peel off. It washed off really nicely. So it left my skin feeling really radiant and I really enjoyed it actually. I have another one of these, so I'm definitely gonna be using that again in the future. So that is another one used up in my project pan. And the final one for partridge in a pear tree, it is my simple hydrating cleansing oil. So as you can see from here, this was my intro where I started. Then I was down to here. What was that? What was it for when I started? I can't remember. And uh, so now I'm down here. So I've had, <coughs> sorry, I've had a lot of use this month. Um, I have used this every time I have used makeup this month. Um, because I really, really do want to get this up and out of my collection. I don't enjoy using it. Um, I feel like I have to wear a glove. I have to wear like a vinyl glove when I'm using this because I don't like the feel of this on my hands. Um, I do use a cotton pad to put it onto and then rub all over my face, but I'm still getting that greasiness all over my fingers. Um, and I don't like it and I have noticed that I've had a couple of breakouts of spots recently um, because of using this so not happy I think this makes my face far too greasy um, and that then brings out spots on me so I want to get this used up I don't want to throw it away because I'm not like breaking out badly but I'm definitely you know getting more spots than I normally get when I don't use this so yes good progress on it and I am going to work on using it all up by the end of November but mm, saying that I am away for two weeks and I'm not taking this with me so um, maybe the progress in November won't be as much as I want it to be but this will definitely be finished by the end of the project in December. So that is it. That is my 12 days of Christmas. I have hit um, goal on uh, 1, 2 items, which isn't very good, but I have had good progress on other items and then some items I haven't even touched. So, slap on the hand for the items I haven't touched, but yay for the items that I've finished and that I've had good progress on. So, I am going to be concentrating on more of these products for the next month. Um, although I am away for two weeks during November on honeymoon and I'm not sure if I'm going to be taking any of my project pan items with me or not. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I should take my project pan items with me on holiday to continue using up or whether I should give myself a break from them for two weeks um, and just use other items that 
you know, I really enjoy using um, and have something different um, with me for two weeks and then come back to this afresh. There will be videos coming up about my travelling um, essentials and what I'm packing and what I'm taking with me very soon. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. So I just wanted to add on to the end of this video. It's a couple of days later and I've been thinking about the shade in my Makeup Revolution Flawless 3 Resurrection palette and the colour I've been trying to pan is this one which is uh, Regeneration. Um, from what I've learnt in my 13 by Halloween project pan, shimmer shades are notoriously hard to hit pan on. So I'm actually going to change it and I'm going to go for a more matte shade. So what I'm actually going to be trying to pan from now on for the last two months of this project is this shade here. It is called Reincarnation, so it still goes along the theme of rebirth, um, you know, for the geese laying. So that is the shade there. Um, I think this is going to be much easier for me to hit pan on. I do want to try and hit as many goals as possible and get some more use out of this palette and I think because I was having such difficulty with that other colour which is a shimmer shade I'll just swatch it for you alongside as beautiful as that shade is I just think that because I'm finding it hard to use um, and I know I'm not going to hit goal on it I'm kind of just leaving it and not not even trying so I think that by changing the shade to this one which is a, a matte shade which I can use in my crease um, I think I will actually turn to this palette a little bit more so this is the second supplement that I've had to put into this project um, but I don't mind doing that if it means I'm going to be using something rather than and, and hitting goal on that rather than butting my head against a brick wall there's just no point I'm not going to hit pan on a shiny shimmery shade um, in two months when I barely touch it because I know I'm not going to hit pan so uh, yeah I just wanted to add this on to the end of the video that I will be supplementing this shade in my flawless 3 palette which was regeneration to this shade which is reincarnation in my flawless 3 palette so thank you very much for watching thanks bye